Hello and welcome to Minecraft. My name is Caleb and today we are going to build something. Now if you have seen my previous video, let me just fly over here. We were working on a fantasy watchtower. Now I apologize for the lag, I don't know why it's having so much trouble. And in the first video I mentioned that I was going to do a bit of beautification. So in the first video we made this this amazing magnificent watchtower and I said I was going to do a part two or possibly do a part two um, that didn't end up happening basically I found that the video was quite tedious and just lots of grinding basically so I decided not to use that footage and instead I'll just fly you around to show you what I've done so where we left off was we had built these stairs and the watchtower itself and I was talking about doing something over here. Um, initially I'd done a statue with lava and that sort of stuff but then things started catching on fire and I didn't want to risk it anymore so I replaced it with water and it's meant to be sort of like a Roman soldier skull type thing um, and the lava was sort of meant to come out of his mouth but now it's water. Um, not the best result but I'm gonna live with it and in the previous video I was talking about extending these stairs down so this is what I've done uh, these stairs continue down here uh, through this tunnel and as you can see also I've sort of diverted down here and somebody's house is down here as well and there is another one on the other side of the tunnel down here and the walkway continues down here, down here, all the way down here, with the original intention of continuing that down to the, the ground floor to basically hook up with our little village down there. Um, but I have yet to do that. Now, I want to continue this sort of theme of having these sort of small dwellings sort of dotted around the mountain. I think it looks quite cool. Especially you have the, the walkway going down and then you have the trees and just the general atmosphere and then having people's houses sort of almost like hobbit holes sort of dotted around the mountain I thought would look quite cool. And then as I thought more about it I sort of started to come up with this kind of like a story in my mind and the humans who live in these kind of buildings in the village down there, You've got some pirates down there and then I thought okay so they are the protagonists who would be the antagonists in the story in this made up minecraft story and I started thinking about a theme and I think I've come up with some cool ideas so let's come over here I don't know if I showed you in the first video but I've sort of started making these kind of like totem face lava statue things which I thought looked quite cool and over here is where I'm going to start building the antagonists buildings um, I think we'll start off with something small maybe their own watchtower and then eventually I want to do sort of like a big castle and like a citadel and you know maybe even a town and stuff like that I think that'd be quite cool but just to sort of get I think just to get the general idea of the look um, I'm going to build sort of a small structure um, kind of close to the I guess the humans but yeah not too far away because I, I want to keep it all within the distance of each other um, so they're easily linked anyway enough blabbering I am going to start first I'm going to get Mr. Picky out of the way and I'm going to fill in this little area and then I'm going to start thinking about what I'm going to do and it's most likely going to be like a small fort or something like that. Anyway, let's get into it. I'll just quickly skip the video so I can quickly clean up this area and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so I've just filled in that little hole there just so I can kind of visualize and get an idea. And I've moved Mr. Piggy on and now we can start to build. Um, so what I've chosen are these sort of, what do you got? Purr purr, I have no idea what that is. Purr purr pillar stairs and block and slab 
and I'm also going to use the obsidian and I kind of want these guys to be kind of like I don't know like poisonous to the environment their environment um, so around where they live the actual grass has sort of died off and I want to utilize uh, coal and some other sort of dirt textures um, just to give the appearance that basically everything they touch sort of tends to decay and, and die off um, but anyway let's get into it now I don't know how big this is going to be but I'm going to just start with the entrance way I think and then figure it out from there but it's going to be a skinny building um, so let's start let me think something obsidian for the base no maybe that can be for the central structure oops oops okay so equal 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 and then let's just get some coal in here Um, as I said in my previous video, I like to, when I'm sort of freestyle building, um, start with the entrance way and then go from there. Where are we? Purple block. And then we'll go obsidian. Let's do the obsidian one block back. Furious clicking. Something like that. Now, um, the reason why I chose this sort of purple color is I don't want to look too, like, evil or... I don't know. I think if I'm going like greys and blacks, it's just a little bit too dark for Minecraft because I still want it to be sort of fantastical and, and sort of whimsical and fun as well. Um, um, so I've kind of chosen these sort of purple blocks just to lighten the mood a little bit, I guess. Don't want to be too serious. Can I do something? No, I actually kind of like that. And let's put some down here as well. Have them going around here. So we'll accentuate the front entrance. And I still haven't sort of in my mind decided on exactly the style of building. I think it's going to be kind of similar to the human style of building. Um, medieval themed. Let's get some of this pillar going. But I want to make it sort of more sharper looking, more aggressive. No wood, just like stone and tile and obsidian. I like saying that word, obsidian. Is obsidian like a real element? I don't know. Somebody's rolling their eyes right now. And I do want to exaggerate the the size of it. So um, in the previous watchtower build, I did like a, the, the wood is kind of flared out. Um, so it's kind of like top heavy. And I want to continue that with this, but exaggerate it even more. So... It's quite skinny at the bottom and then it just gets bigger and bigger out going up and then have some like sharp spires and things like that. I think that would be pretty cool. Oops. And 
be kind of cool if we had like a not a bridge but just layers I like layers now it's got to be a I've got to be careful I don't go too far where it's becomes looking it looks silly I hope it doesn't look silly now and I was thinking that the creatures in this world the um, the bad guys I guess you'd say would be a little bit taller than a human so I'm thinking the doors are higher the windows are higher but maybe skinny it's looking pretty cool let's check another one in there and then continue these stairs looking interesting not sure I'm happy with it at the moment I'm just gonna see what obsidian looks like maybe I'll just do it on this inside pillar I kind of like that contrast don't want to repeat the same the same color same shape all the time Um, I haven't checked the stats of the last video, but I assume because it's my first ever video and how many Minecraft videos will be uploaded every day, I don't know, but I can't imagine there'd be too many views thus far, if at all. But that's okay, that's why you persevere, I guess. Okay, I think for an entranceway that's pretty, uh, pretty intense like camping already let's check another one up there maybe oh can you hear the announcement um this is obviously recorded uh corona time so the announcements the pa announcements on the street are frequent If you don't know what I'm talking about, I don't know if you can hear it over the microphone. How does that look? Yeah, it's looking pretty interesting in my opinion. Now the final spire, I guess you'd say, here, is going to be kind of like a... Let's chuck some obsidian instead. How do I do this in a sharp way? Maybe like that. <laughs> I don't know. Let's just roll with it for now and then if we don't like it we'll uh, sort it out later. Because you know I haven't I haven't pre-planned anything apart from choosing the block blocks I like so I don't quite know what it's going to turn out. I kind of have a general idea. It's kind of like you know when you're drawing you know what you want to put on the paper but whether you can express that or not is the real challenge let's just see what it looked like with a couple of smaller ones I kind of want to play on the theme of like spikes and but kind of fun it doesn't I don't want to make it too serious as I said before That looks very spiky. Um, I will fill in this area here, but this top bit, that's the kind of theme I want to go with. Um, so I guess what I'll do is I'll do some pillars. I guess there'd be one there, one there, one there, and one there on the other side. And I might actually extend this out just to make it again, to make it more top heavy yeah I might do that I will start with the pillar first and then I might skip the video just to bring that out a little bit alrighty and we are back and I have taken the liberty just to extend this out a little bit and also build a little platform where the corner pillar will go 
Um, I did want like a little space in the middle just so if we wanted to we could get a ladder uh, up to the top. So now I'm going to build this up. Um, I want to go top heavy on this so I guess a smaller section at the bottom and then we will as we go up um, just get a little bit more I guess intense uh, in terms of the, the weight it looks like it would carry. And then at the top would be a spire, sort of higher than the middle middle section, uh, pointing upwards. So let's get into it. Um, so I was thinking, if we go with this purple pillar, and I thought it'd be kind of cool to keep the this middle section empty, um, just to emphasise the. Uh, more exaggerated weight later on. Something like that, and then we'll go for a first proper layer. Keep that gap in the middle. And accentuate with the stairs. like so oops and let's just do another one at the top and we will continue going skyward. I was going to do two of those. Alrighty, and obsidian. Sheepy. Um, I will fill this top section in, I think. Couple of those, couple of those, couple of those. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa. It's a shame that this area here is going to be all sort of died off because it, it actually looks quite nice. Okay, how we're looking so far? It looks like a pretty thick ass pillar. And, oops, it's not going to work, is it? Let's do it again. Let's have a look. Again, just bring, but I will bring the stairs in a little bit more, maybe. Um, but I do want to leave a room for that ladder if we want to do that. I'm using my concentration. So now we're getting into the sort of spire section, so I have to think about how I'm going to do that. Um, it might be. Sort of like, kind of like this sort of stairs that sort of rotate into a sharp point. So we're definitely higher now than that one. So we'll have to do it from. It would be kind of cool to go. Uh, maybe we'll just use a couple of obsidians. Oops. So we'll start building our um, spire now. Okay, let's bring bring that in. Get rid of that one. I want to 
to keep this sort of contrasting um, look of the obsidian. All right, and let's just do something like this. This is going to be interesting because okay, I think I'm going to bring it up by one. Um, the steers, I mean. So what I'm going to do is going to invert the steers like this. And then put more on the top. Like that. Oh, it's looking kind of spiky. And let's do a final. It's going to be too much. Maybe too much. I think I'll just end it there. Because I was going to do another layer of these, but I think that might just be a little bit too much. And let's get some of those. Oh, actually, they're not going to go on there, are they? They will, but isn't that floating? No, oh, it's all right. I think it's all right. Maybe put one up there too. How does that look? Maybe the one on the top is a little bit too much. Yeah, I like that. Oops. Oops. Oh no, what have I done? What have I done? Okay. Um, I'm just going to quickly skip the video and fill in the rest, and then we can come back to it. Alrighty. Now, that is the first half of the... Well, not actually. Um the first part of the front of the building because I have to repeat it um, over there as well. So I've just connected the corner pillar to the front sort of fascia and then um, just sort of joined the where the roof ends uh, with the middle bit to this bit here. Um, I did need to enclose I did initially say I was going to keep that open but um, it just didn't fit right. I, I didn't think it looked right. Um, so now I basically need to do this side over here. Um, eventually, of course, I will have to do it over there as well in the corner here, uh, which I'm not looking forward to because, as I said, I'm not using mods, so I have to do it all by hand. Um, but hopefully, when it's all complete and symmetrical, it will look pretty cool. And I did want to have... How am I going to incorporate this? Um, <laughs> how am I going to do this? I had this idea. Let me just play with it and just see how it's going to look. It might be completely off, but... Uh, Let's go with it anyway. Let's just see how it's going to look. So we'll keep all of them facing this way, kind of facing out. And then we'll put hopefully this isn't screwing anything up. Um, let's put one. Have some smoke rising up like that. And let's see if we can just actually we'll do it down there. Does that you still see the smoke? Oh yeah, you can still see it rising up. And then we'll just hide it. Hopefully 
if all of those embers go out before they actually touch anything that can set things on fire. Oh, it looks more evil when you've got smoke arising. Alrighty, um, I'm going to pause the video again and build the other section and then uh, I'll come back with you. Alright, so that took ages. Uh, I had basically done most of this one here and realized that I had put it too close to the entranceway so it did not match the other side so I had to delete half of it and start again but we have prevailed and the front fascia of this antagonist structure I don't know um, is complete and well not exactly complete I do want to add some finishing touches like I want to figure out where the windows are going to go and how I'm going to do the whole window situation but in terms of the actual structure, um, I think we're pretty much there. Um, I really like how it turned out. So I need to figure out a way to mirror that. Um, well, I'm going to have to do it all by hand anyway, but um, this whole thing is going to be symmetrical. So um, this will be over there and then you'll have the same thing in between. Um, but I probably won't do that on camera because it would be really boring and take a long time. So well, I won't do it this time. Um, what we'll do now is I'm just going to do this ground section around uh, the structure just to sort of show the the dying off of the of the ground. Um, so what I thought would what, what I was going to do is going to basically use the coal um, to do the immediate area, and then the coal would sort of um, phase out. Oh, that grass is really bugging me the coal would phase out and then you get sort of a more dirt kind of texture um, so you sort of I do sort of like random and then as the closer you get to the the building uh, the more of it there would be So much grass. Get out of here. I mean, I like grass in real life, but it's really annoying me in this. Okay, let's just I'll just do the front section just so we can visualize. Okay, let's say at the very least two squares in width and then sort of gets a bit more random after that too much oops Something like that. Let's see. Alrighty, now let's see. What can we add? It's got to be some sort of dark ground texture that looks like. This grass path might work. Let's just see. Yeah, that kind of works. Kind of looks like grass is dead. Um, I guess the path would work in a well in my town as well. Oopsie. Alrighty, but you get kind of get the feel. So um, when I complete the rest of the building, 
this sort of look will be copied all around to kind of give the effect that the building and it's an occupant kind of start eating away at the at life because um, they're bad guys after all you know so I'm gonna leave it here for now for this uh, video where looks like we're around about 40 minutes obviously build time was longer because I had to do this thing um, but I will continue in the next video um, I'll probably skip most of the building and it'll be kind of a finishing off one so this kind of section will be mirrored with these spikes um, in the middle here and then on the other side and then on the back as well and then these sort of corner pillars uh, will be mirrored there and then on the other side as well so in the end it will be sort of like a symmetrical square effect um, but yeah overall it's looking very geometric and I don't know kind of scary to me but yes first first time doing a uh, an evil building so um, but it's been fun anyway uh, thank you for watching if you did watch this of course um, yeah subscribe if you want and hopefully I'll see you in part two. Alrighty. Cheers, guys.